welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about different types of brushes for watercolor. The one I'm holding right now is called round brush. It's called round brush because its ferro is rounded and the bristles are usually artificial. Or, and in some point, um, the brushes before were like made from various animal hairs. And this one is synthetic, okay? And this one is a number 20 round brush. It's good for larger areas. It's good for painting larger areas of your painting. The second one is a number 10 brush. And this one is good for other smaller details of your, of your painting areas. It's also a round brush. And the next one is a number six brush, which is I usually use for painting leaves and other details of watercolor painting. And this one is a number zero, double zero. It's really good for finer details and adding um, straight lines or other details for your work and it has that really really flexible tip all right so that's number zero and there's also a zero brush which is shorter than this and they I also have here a flat brush this one is number 20 flat brush there are different numbers and varying sizes for this so the the lower the number the smaller the the bristles of this brush Flat brush is perfect for painting backgrounds, especially for flat brushes, flat washes, and and other details of your work, of your artwork. And these are special brushes, and this is called a fan brush. Fan brush is perfect for creating waves and and um, other details, such as in when you paint waterfalls and. It's also perfect for splattering paints. So you just tap it with your finger or brushes and then it creates that sort of um, spattering technique. And this one is a liner brush. It, the only difference with this, it's, it it's, looks similar to zero brush. But this one is has a thicker bristles and it's longer, it's almost an inch long. And this is perfect for painting other areas of your brushes such as um, branches and other painting subjects so that's about it with these types of brushes these are just a few of the brushes that are commonly used for watercolor